Well, Tourism Minister with Responsibility for Gaming, the Honorable Obi Wilchcombe, says that Rollins has a narrow view of the bill and sums it up as a progressive one. How would it create corruption? The truth is uh, the gaming bill, like all other bills, are uh, created to advance gaming in the Bahamas. That's what we're seeking to do. We want to regulate, control the environment not to cause for proliferation of the environment that exists today in so far as the web shops are concerned. And the FNM allowed for the licensing to open the doors. And we interpret that as being the first step toward where we have to be today. That's what we're seeking to do. And we start there with a high level, not at a low level. Because why is it always that the black man is corrupt? What do we have against our race? Now, Minister Wilchcom also hit back at Rollins after Rollins claimed that the gaming board and backbenchers had no input in the bill. The team that we had, which included the secretary of the gaming board, a technical individual, mm -hmm. ministers and others don't sit at the table. We were advised afterwards that we make the decision. And uh, again, to ensure that the public appreciates and also that the public appreciates that when the bill says minister, minister can't pass anything by himself. Minister means government. It must return to the government. When people aren't educated or informed properly, uh, then they won't have the relative information that's required sometimes to counter uh, what might seem to be a sensible statement when you uh, really analyze it. Mm -hmm. It's nonsensible. 